In this lesson, we're going to look at an example of an application problem that involves weight, um, and particularly pounds and ounces. Um, so first of all, um, in case you're not aware, we might find this useful. One pound is the same as 16 ounces. So it says Sue wants to take eight pounds of rice on a camping trip. If she already has packages of rice weighing two pounds, 12 ounces, and three pounds, six ounces, how much more rice does she need to take? So with all the information they give us, this kind of seems to me like a two-step problem. If I need to know how much more rice she needs to take, I probably need to figure out first how much she actually has now. And so, of course, that would involve finding the total of 3 pounds 6 ounces and 2 pounds 12 ounces, which, of course, means I will add those together. So let's do that first. Figure out how much she has now. So 2 pounds 12 ounces plus 3 pounds 6 ounces. So first I'll add my ounces up, so 12 plus 6 is going to give me 18 ounces, and 2 plus 3 is 5 pounds. And so just like uh, when we've done examples earlier uh, with feet and inches, remember if I ended up with more than 12 inches, I wanted to convert those into feet. Well, the same goes here for pounds and ounces. I have 18 ounces here, which is more than what equals one pound. So what we'll do is we will take 16 of those ounces away from the ounces and add one more pound. So that gives us a total of two ounces, but also a total of six pounds. So we know that Sue has six pounds, two ounces already. Okay, this is how much Sue has. Six pounds, two ounces. So of course to figure out how much more she needs to pack, we need to know what the difference is between the eight pounds that she wants and the six pounds, two ounces that she has. So the word difference, remember, means subtraction. So we're going to take 8 pounds, and we're going to take away 6 pounds, 2 ounces. All right. Now, we've seen this issue before um, with a previous video, where the amount of ounces here and then the previous video was announced as I believe it was um, minutes. But the amount of this unit on top is not enough to take the amount of that unit on bottom. So what we need to do is again borrow. So we're going to kind of use the same process we did right here, the whole one pound equals 16 ounce thing, um, but uh, use it a little bit differently. So we'll borrow one of our pounds, so now I have seven pounds, and since I borrowed one of my pounds, I know that that one pound I borrowed is the same as 16 ounces, so I am allowed to add 16 ounces right there. And so now I can easily take 16 minus 2 is 14, and 7 minus 6 is 1, and so we have one pound, 14 ounces. And that would be our final answer. So she still needs to pack an additional one pound, 14 ounces. So notice we use this fact of one pound equals 16 ounces twice in kind of different ways. Here we used it to make our answer for how much Sue has so that it has the least number of ounces possible and the most number of pounds possible. And then here we use the same exact fact to borrow from pounds to create more ounces so that I actually was able to subtract my ounces.